Same match as the top 24 you play for top eight, but oh, I want to say it's two or three. I, I feel, I, yeah, I, I feel like it would be two or three. And man, it, it's been, it's so crazy to be back because sometimes I even forget like how many matches you have to play in top yeah. 24. I even forget where top 24 is at times. Yeah, but this should be, this is going to be one of my favorite matches of the night. I can already tell. It's going to be Charlie the King and Razo. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, Razo from the very, very depths of the Inland Empire. Uh, region from SoCal. Sub-region, for those of you guys wondering back at home, like, how big is SoCal? It's so big that, like, we have, like, five main sub-regions that all compete <laughs> against one another, yeah, and, and they're so know, far. I, I'm going to give a bit of a plug, uh, because we haven't started yet, but both of these guys have been doing coaching recently, and they yeah, are yeah. two of the most knowledgeable players I've ever talked to about this game. Mm -hmm. Like, I, when I moved in, I lived, like, 15 minutes from Razo now, so I went over and we practiced a bit. Yeah. And I played him for, like, four hours, and I just literally have, n it, like, opened a new door of the yeah. way I see Smash. And, like, the way both of these players are just lab rats and they know every little detail of their characters, <laughs> I really hope that gets to show through in both of their gameplay. Yeah, it, it shows, it definitely, even if you don't see it in their gameplay, it shows in both of their streams, both of their personalities. Exactly. Everybody knows Charlie as, like, that one player who definitely chose to be the super, one of the most technical wolves. Actually, the most technical wolf in, in the entire game. Just with his ability it, to just... He, he finally got that training mod pack over. Yeah. It's yeah. over for it's, us. Yeah, right? it's, it's, that's what's crazy. It's like you, we thought Charlie was already good enough, but the fact that he now has the tools to be just, even better. He's like posting Twitter clips like, oh, I learned I can kill people off this at 50. Now it's like, oh, well, that's cool. Another thing I have to be scared of happening. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is but, he going pyro? But that's what's, that's what's so good about Charlie okay. as a player, and even then just learning tech skill, is knowing which percent and which combo, which move, which tree... Combo tree in this case has fit into your opponent in those situations where you can actually take stocks. It's one thing to play neutral, but to actually be able to get punishes on your opponent and extend that punish to a full stock, that's a whole different ballpark that a lot of players sometimes struggle to learn. Yeah, I mean, like we were saying, these two players are some of the best in the region at taking one hit and making it a whole stock lead off of it. Yeah. Well, let's not forget, man. Some of the some of the most intricate fighting games are based off that one hit interaction, the neutral to that one hit, and you can see it within both players. A little bit of play in the neutral here, but for Charlie, he is looking for that one fair to connect all the damage into Razo. Doesn't see the fair, sees the nair, and he pushes that up to 67. And uh, Razo responds a little bit in kind with that down air. I like the rising shine on other characters that worked, but because Peach is so unique with the float mechanic, it actually makes her so incredibly difficult to combo. Talking to Razo, actually. Uh, last week, he said his favorite combo in the game is when you're at 80%. He loves that because his favorite combo in the game is he can do the turnip toss twice into a back air. Oh, God. And that's his favorite combo to do in the game. That sounds disgusting, and hopefully Charlie's we, not going to be able to see it. Yeah. On the last dog once, that's why I bring it up, but like, it wasn't enough to kill Charlie, unfortunately for Razo, but that nair will be. And is that a stitch? Yeah, it is a stitch. And that's the crazy thing about Razo, too. He has some of the best stitch pulls in the entirety of SoCal. Yeah. Fun fact, we had a local in the IE last night, and I think he, he averaged one and a half turnips a game. God. And it's a small thing, but it is, like, something to be worried about, too, because if that does connect, there's so much damage that Peach will be able to do. The character already has insane combos, but couple that with one of those items that is the stitch face, it will do... It could make or break the character, especially make or break a loss or a win for you. But for Charlie here, really good attention. What an interesting side special. I did not anticipate that from the ledge. Yeah, and both these players just clawing their way back onto stage over and over. And Charlie clawing his way to the ledge there with the forward tilt. All right, Razo able to make his way back on, floating in with the forward air. Another stitch! <laughs> I did like what Charlie did back there earlier at the ledge. He was trying to force Razo to go for a grounded option as an approach. And he was using Becca to fit in Razo. This forced Razo to go for a ground play, and that's Charlie's forward tilt. But Charles, Razo had that coming out. But good for Charlie to still use that dash dance to kind of move it in and out of that specific portion of the ledge just to see how Razo would react. And we know how long Wolf dash attack can be in terms of a hitbox. Yeah, and the crazy thing about Wolf dash attack that we all kind of learned early was it has two different hitboxes, and they both kill. Yeah. Early hit kills off the top, late hit kills off the side. Either way... You don't want to be getting hit with that high percentage. I like the way on the spot talks there from Charlie. Oh. Tech chase with the dash tag doesn't vibrate. He's in position perfectly for the jab afterwards. Down to actually reaching under the parasol. Nice and good for Charlie to try to cover the potential get up option from Razo with a nair. Charlie at 167. Razo looking for that one opportunity. There is the punish there with the air racket. 
but that is not going to be enough. Only the turn to stop the landing and enough to stop Charlie from reaching the ledge. It's 1-1 apiece. I'm telling you guys right now, if Raza were to find that one combo, it will be it can pretty be even. even. Yeah. He's not able to follow up. Maybe a bit of nerves, but he's on the way now. Down oh, to 63, the man. Off that one interaction. <laughs> Okay, Razzle with the patience here, looking for an opportunity, but Charlie is able to confirm. Oh, a little pop-off for that guy. <laughs> okay. I mean, that's the crazy thing, dude, is like Charlie will have that small pop-off in the middle of one of those moves just because he was like, all right, cool, I got it this time. Like, he practices so much online. It's good to see that reward. Exactly, that reward does pay off. I would pop off, too, for the one combo I practice like seven times like every night. Yeah, that, I mean, it's all, no pun intended, but it's a flashy combo. Like, it, it is, looks it so is. cool when you hit it. And that's the beautiful thing about like te learning, like I said, learning Texco. It is that one hit that when you do get in, how far can I extend it? Will I extend it to a full stock, a corner carry, a get up situation, a, a, a lead? What kind of lead am I getting? Am I getting the stage lead? That's what Charlie looked for. Cool, if I get this Nair at this percent to the Wolf Flash, like that's gonna not only give me the lead in terms of 1-0, but that's gonna give me like, pretty much the W. I, I just imagine whenever Charlie's playing, it's like that meme of Zach Galifianakis with all the like math behind him <laughs> from like the Hangover or something. Where yeah, 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 yeah. At all times, he's, he's constantly head. computing like, all right, cool, he's at 50 percent. Oh, he's cool, at 53.6 percent. This is the optimal combo to hit. <laughs> it's like it's so insane how he always has the best possible punish down. And like the thing that's so impressive about Charlie is it's not that he's just a lab rat; it's that he understands neutral so well that he is able to open up like you look at a twitter clip or something on like a training mode bot and it's like oh how do you get that specific hit in neutral like you have to fish for that so heavily and like no one's ever going to get hit by this charlie will always hit anyone yeah though. he'll he won't even make it something he's fishing for he won't make it something you end up in and he goes if you forgot this combo now you remember exactly it's never that charlie's fishing for it his neutral is so refined that he's able to see the spots that you're at and just know based on if you do this, this is how I kill you for it. Exactly. I think for Razo, his name of the game here is to slow down Charlie's momentum. Like you see, specifically for Peach, she pretty, pulling a turn up, oh, oh no. no. Like that's that's the thing about Razo, he wants to pull turn ups. He wants to slow down a character like Wolf. One of the things that Peach suffers in is unfortunately is in the approach game. And her needing a turn up to be able to approach sets Razo up a little bit terribly. But I do like the fact that he sees that platform He's an opportunity for a reset, but he's not able to get anything just yet. Charlie is moving around with such ferocity. Razo, though, still surviving. He's going to go for a deeper recovery because he knows of Charlie's position here. Nice forwarder to call it out. And Razo with a little bit of breathing space here. Finally, the turn up, but no stock just yet. Yeah, and I feel like it looks almost like Razo starting to answer just a little bit. Has to find a way to get the kill. But it's going to be so difficult. You know, Peach, like we were saying, doesn't have the best approach options. But when Charlie's in the lead like this, he has no reason oh, what a change. to approach Raza with that. Going for an all or nothing up B there to try and end the game with the three stock. Doesn't fire, but has another two full stocks to work with. Raza, however, you know, like we were saying, the king of peach combos. If he can get something started, he may be able to at least eat, put some percent on Charlie, put him in the threat of getting a kill soon. I feel like that hit if the if <laughs> Razo's dare ended a frame or two earlier. All right, nice good read there on that one. Gets the back air. A little bit of stage control time for the turn to pull, but I do like the fact that Razo knows, okay, I have the space, I have the stage control. I need to control center stage as much as possible. Look at this advantage from just one interaction like that, and Razo puts it up even stocks here. It's a lot to fight for, but Razo is still trying out here at the very best as he could because he knows how his character works. It's a down air. Oh, God. I, I was like, I, I saw how that combo could have ended. And unfortunately, that Raza was just one aerial away, and Charlie was only one four to away. Yeah, and Charlie able to find the F2 on Raza's jump. 